Hello everyone. In this unit, we are going to cover unit work with Salesforce records in flows. This unit is from the module data and actions and flows. So here in this unit challenge, we will be creating an auto launched flow and we will be going through the concept, how we can create different resources of different data types and different record elements that we can create as part of this unit's challenge. So let's quickly launch our trailer playground which I've already done. So let's go to setup and open our flows. Click on new flow. Now here, the type of flow that we are going to select is auto launch. Now this auto launch flow does not launches or trigger on its own. It basically requires uh, some other process, Apex class or REST API, or maybe another flow to launch its execution. So here we are going to select this and click on create. So the very first thing that we have to do is create a new resource. So click on this top left icon. Here we are going to create a new resource. So in order to do that, click on this new resource. Resource type will be variable and the label that we have to give is account ID, which I will be copying it from the challenge and paste this in the API name text area. Now the type of data will be text as it is going to store ID. And we are also going to make this available for input checkbox selected. Now this checkbox will be basically used to store the account ID, which we will be getting from the process where this auto launch flow has been invoked. So as I already mentioned that auto launch flow runs in background and need some other process to invoke their execution. So, so from wherever this auto launch flow will be invoked, be it Apex class, REST API, some other processes, or maybe some other flow. From there, we will be passing the ID, which will be stored in this variable account ID. So this is the basic uh, concept why we are making this checkbox selected available for input. So this variable will be open to accept or capture the text which will hold the account ID as its name signifies that it will be holding the account ID which will be passed from the process from where this auto launch flow has been invoked. So I hope this concept is clear why we are making this available for input. Selected. Click on done. We'll see this in execution uh, when we will debug this flow. So moving on, next thing that we have to do is another resource of type formula and the API name will be week from today. So let's go back there, click on new resource. This time the data type, uh, this time the resource type will be formula. API name is this in the text area. Data type this time will be date. And the formula that we are going to insert is today. Select an operator. And the number that we have to give is seven. So it is going to add seven days from today. As the name API name also signifies. That's all. Click on done. We have created two variables which have different data types. One is of date. Type, will be holding a date type value and the other one will be holding the text type of value. Next thing that we have to do is create an update record element. The label we are going to give is set type to customer. Let's go back to our flow builder, click on plus icon and scroll for update record element. Paste this name in the label text area. Now here we are going to select the second condition because we are going to give out some condition in order to update the record. We are going to first filter out the records and then we are going to update those records. So let's see how we can do that. First of all, the filter I want to apply on account object and it is the same object on which I want my fields to be updated. So here you have, uh, you can see that there are two sections now visible filter account records and the other one is set field values for the account records. So first of all, we are going to filter out the records based on our condition. And then the records that we are going to 
get after filtering, we will be updating those records with some values. So let's see how, uh, what criteria we are using uh, in order to filter the records for updation. So we have to filter based on ID. So ID equals to account ID. So here we have to search field ID equals to, this is the variable which we just created few minutes back. So it is going to filter out the records, filter out the account records where the ID of account is same as that of the ID stored in this variable account ID. And I, I have also mentioned this earlier that this account ID variable will get the ID from the process where this auto launch flow has been invoked. So once we get our filtered account records, then we are going to update the type field on those account records. So here, a set field values for the account records. Now, suppose I have received one account record here in this, after filtering uh, this uh, based on this criteria, I have received one account record. So on that account record, I am uh, updating the type field with the value customer direct. As you can see, this value will get assigned, the arrow is towards the field. This value customer direct will be assigned to this type field, uh, type field of the account record which we get got from this filtered result. That's all, click on done. So this will update our account with the type customer direct if the filter criteria is fulfilled. Now, the next thing that we have to do is create add a create record element. Label we are going to give is create onboarding task. So let's go back, click on plus icon again, select create records, paste the label over here. And this is going to remain as it is. Now for the second option, how to set the record fields, we are going to use the second option, which is use separate resources and literal values, because we are going to specify few fields uh, with predefined values. So let's just use the second option. Object that of, of which I want to create record is task. So it is going to create only one task record with the values that I am going to specify here in this section, set field values for the task. Now here also you can see the arrow is towards fields. That means whatever value I'm going to assign in this value text area or value field, will be assigned to the API, uh, to the field whose API name I'm going to mention in this search field text area. So let's see what is the first field that we have to assign value to. Activity date, we have to assign a uh, value from the resource, which we created a few minutes back at the starting of this video. So activity date will hold the value from this variable week from today. Let's go back to our flow builder. Now here, activity date, this is the field and the value it will store is from this variable, formula type of variable, week from today. Now, whatever value today plus seven, it is going to update in activity date. Now the next field is priority. We have to set the priority as high. Status, we have to set it as not started and subject I'm going to copy the text from the challenge. So subject has to be reach out for reach out for onboarding. Let's paste this over here. And the last field is what ID. So what ID specify the ID to which this task will get associated. So here I'll select what ID and this task will be associated to the account whose ID is stored in this variable account ID. Now here we have predefined the fields of the task object. So whenever we are going to, so whenever this auto launch flow will be executed, it is going to create the task record with the predefined values, which we have specified over here in this create record element to all these fields. That's all, click on done. We are done with our update record. We are done with our create record element and we have also created our resources. The last thing that we have to do is save our flow and 
name it. So let's go back there, click on save. Flow label I'm going to give out here uh, in the text area, convert to customer, API name will be auto-populated. Click on save and that's all. Now, if you want to debug this flow, uh, then you can do this from here only from the flow builder by you clicking on this debug button or else in the real life scenarios, this auto launch flow will be called from some other process. But as part of this unit challenge and for this video, I'm going to show you this flow in execution by going through the debug feature. Now here, if you see account ID, this variable, we have mentioned that this has to be available for input. That's why it is open uh, that, okay, give me some ID so that I can proceed with this auto launch flow. So in order to give ID, let's just go to our app launcher and go to any account record. So let's just go here. And let's say uh, I'll be selecting Burlington Textile Corp of America. So I will copy this ID from the URL. Let's go back. I'll be pasting this in the account ID. Now this debug process is not part of this unit's challenge. If you do not want to move ahead with this debugging process, it's okay. You can go and click on that verify button. You will be able to pass this challenge. For the matter of debugging, you can stay with me in, in this video. So I have uh, mentioned the account ID. Now this flow will be executed. So you see here, we have our uh, debug logs over here, debug details. So this flow got started. The account ID, which we mentioned is coming up here. Now update record element has executed and here it is filtering out the ID equals to this ID, this is the same ID which we have given in the account ID variable. So update element got one record where the ID was equal to the ID which was given in this variable, right? So ID uh, equals to account ID. So one record got filtered and it has updated the type to customer direct. Then it moved to create record and here, uh, seven days from today, which is today is 25, uh, 25th of July and adding seven days, it will be 1st of August. Priority is set to high, status not started, reach out for onboarding is the subject and what ID? Uh, here the account ID, which we have passed in the beginning in the input variable has been assigned to this and we have our task also created. Now, if we just go back to your Burlington textile, go to details. Okay, so it was already customer direct. So we will not be able to see the update uh, done by our flow. Let's see if any task was created. So there you go. One task has been created. Uh, if you open this up on a new tab. So you see subject is reach out for onboarding, priority is high, status is not started, related to. So related to is basically the what ID. So what ID, we have specified the account ID of Burlington Textile Corps of America. That's why related to is holding the name of that particular account. So we have created a task as well. We could not see the type field updation because uh, that was already customer direct. If you want to test, you can select any other account which do not have type as customer direct. And then you will be able to see that updation as well in action. So that was all for this challenge. Just click on check challenge and you should be able to pass this. There you go. This unit is completed. See in the next video with another unit or module. Till then, take care. Thank you so much.